video is about how to measure fractional parts. We've talked about standard units of length, but a fractional unit such as one half inch, one fourth inch, and one eighth inch are used to measure the lengths that are between two whole units. So when you're measuring, if it doesn't land right on the one or right on the two or right on the three, then you're going to be measuring with fractional units. Okay? Measuring to the nearest fractional unit is kind of like rounding a number. You're going to have to find that smallest space in between the one and the two or the two and the three or between any of the whole numbers. And when you do that, it's kind of like rounding a number. So let's look at one. Let's look at inches first. We've talked about inches. And if we look at inches, you can see on my ruler, there's the one, there's the two, the three, the four, the five. Those are my whole inches. And that's where we start. Now what happens if I go to measure something and it's in between the one or the two or between the six or the seven or between the eight or the nine? That's when I have to measure in fractional parts. The first fractional part that we're gonna look at is the half inch. We're gonna measure, so let's look at half inches. Rulers have marks that divide the inches into two equal parts or halves. There's the one half, so it divides it into halves. The half inch mark helps you measure more exactly. So on the side of your ruler where you have the inches, you can look and see how it's divided equally into half. So if you put your finger on the one inch mark here, how many halves are there in one inch? So here's the one, here's the two, so that's one inch. How many halves are in there? Well, there's one half of an inch and there's another half of an inch. So inside one inch there are two halves. Well, that makes sense because two halves make one whole. So that's to the nearest half inch. The next smallest unit is the quarter inch. And I kind of took a ruler and I made it really big so that we can look at the quarter inch more closely. Rulers have quarter mark inch, quarter inch marks that divide the inches into four equal parts. So we're looking at one fourth, we're looking at fractions. We know that it takes how many fourths to make a whole? We know that it takes four. So it's dividing the in inches into four equal parts and we can also call these quarter inches. The quarter inch mark make marks help you measure more exactly, okay? So when you get into and you get down to the fourth, you've got a more exact measurement, okay? So on the inch side of your ruler, you can notice how each inch is divided into four sections or these quarters. So here's an inch, again on my giant ruler, and there's the one, and we've talked about the half, so there's one half of an inch, there's the other half of the inch, and if you look in between each half, you'll see that there are more marks. So from this zero to here, there's a quarter, there's another fourth, there's another fourth, and there's another fourth. So inside we have four, one, two, three, four quarter inches. So there's your one fourth. And those are the fourths that make up the one inch. And you'll see that two of the fourths make one half of an inch. So now let's look at the next. The next mark on the ruler is the 1 8 inch. So I've got my giant ruler again and I've divided it up even more and made some marks. Rulers have a 1 8 inch mark that divides the inches into eight equal parts. The 1 8 inch mark helps you measure more exactly. Okay, so find the inches side on your ruler and you can look and see now how each inch is divided equally into eight equal sections because we're working with those fractions so we know it has to be eight equal size pieces. All right, so here's my one inch. We talked about a half and how there are two halves to make the one inch. Then we talked about the quarter and there's one, two, three, four, one fourth inches. And so now if I take even less of it and I take 
half of my one fourth, now I'm looking at an eighth of an inch. And here I can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one eighth. And they're equal size pieces. So this helps you to get an even more exact measurement when you measure something. If it doesn't quite go to the one, we can round it off. So if I put my hand down here, I can see well, it's not quite this long. So I can bring it back and round it because that's how I'm getting my measurements. Obviously my hand is bigger than an inch, but that gives you an idea of how to use your eighths, your fourths, and your halves.